very busy people remodeling, sometimes dismantling things and moving them 10 centimeters and rebuilding them. Just sort of constant activity. I began uh, doing research on Pueblo Benito in the late 1990s with a study of what are called Chaco and cylinder drawers, which are ceramics that are tall and narrow. The 112 cylinder jars and, and other vessels, there were 174 total vessels in the room, and most of them had been placed on a shelf that spanned the room. And the original excavators in 1896 hadn't noticed that. And then around 1100, that uh, a fire was purposefully started under that shelving and the room burned down. And so it, the, the work, which was just six weeks in the summer of 2013, but it solved the problem or the question of why were, was there this pile of cylinder jars at the western portion of the room? The cylinder jars were used in some kind of drinking ritual for caffeinated beverages, including cacao and perhaps a drink made out of holly. Drinking rituals are virtually always either centered around ideologies concerning egalitarianism, where everybody drinks together out of a single large vessel, or aspects of hierarchy where people drink out of individual vessels and in Chaco we seem to see a shift from the use of large communal vessels to smaller personal vessels. Use of cacao in the U.S. Southwest and Mexican Northwest is not limited to Chaco but what it tells us is that our moving along this exchange network that runs from Meso somewhere in Mesoamerica, maybe many places in Mesoamerica, up into the Southwest, because it grows in the tropics. It won't grow in Chaco. And then the fact that it's served in cylinder jars, which are roughly the same shape as cylinder jars used in many parts of Mesoamerica, uh, it suggests that people in Chaco were familiar with the drinking practices down there and perhaps copying them to some extent, but then using their own local ceramic recipes and designs. Pueblo Benito, it's almost like an iceberg in that what you see above the ground is really just the last occupation and there's a tremendous amount of depth. And so the really basic questions of what was it, why there, what happened there and why was it abandoned uh, still remain. Uh, my own research is, is focused on much more detailed aspects than that, but I hope that eventually it contributes to these, these bigger issues.